Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney. I'm coming to you today from Google Arts and Culture to show you Google Expeditions on the Google Arts and Culture website. Yes, Expeditions lives on in Google Arts and Culture. So to access them, click the three line veggie burger menu, click themes. I know that's not super user intuitive. I will drop URLs, direct links in the description, but we click on themes. And then we scroll down and we scroll to Arts and Culture Expeditions. We click on that. And here they are categorized by subject. And so feel free to browse that, uh, browse these collections and click Explore. However, I like to just go to View All Tours. And then you see all 417, 417 arts and culture expeditions. They call them stories or online exhibits. And you can see them. And I'll just do a quick search. And here I'll search and I'll do volcanoes. And let's go to this first result here and see what it looks like. And so here it is. And we can do a few things. Right at the start, we just see you know the title and basic information but we also have a very important share button. That button includes a share to Google Classroom button, very nice. But additionally, there's this link button that copies the link to the clipboard. I'll talk more about that in a second. And so if we either scroll down with your, with your wheel and you get a little image and text, but then we get to what you might remember from Google Expeditions, that 360 top to bottom image, right? And now this text that used to be read by the teacher narrator, well, it's right there. We can see it, all students can see it. They can process it uh, visually, which is really, really nice. Click that arrow, go to my next scene. I can scroll back up, click that arrow to go to, to back to that scene. And the other thing I wanna show you is that there is a share button over here. Unfortunately, it is just to the expedition itself, not to the, the specific scene. So if I click that and then paste in a new tab, it goes to the top. I would love it if it went to a specific scene, maybe one day. So anyway, you keep going and you see all these cool scenes from the expedition. And again, this text is here and you can send this to students in classroom. Uh, design accompanying activities, and they can access it really whenever they want and as long as they want. So it's different than the, the setup and all the equipment and, and all that stuff for Google Expeditions. Maybe it's not as amazing as and as awe-inspiring, but there's no time limit and students can access it anywhere on any device that has a web browser. If you have any questions about Google Expeditions and Google Arts and Culture, Leave a comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.